people welcome back to the channel uh today we're going to paint a lucky craft knockoff uh 2.5 we're going to use candy colors this is the uh, holographic bait from uh i believe we got this at cedar run uh so we'll so first we're going to hit it broadside lateral line area with a uh, lemon yellow candy Now you got to do real light coats with candy. Very light coats with candy. Sure, we can pick that up on camera. We only want lateral line area. We can go over the cheeks. We want to leave the bottom towards the belly clear. You normally can't spray candy the way I'm doing it unless you mix an inner coat clear with it. It's an inner coat clear, it's a 4030 by uh, Createx. Because if you don't mix that 40-30, you'll get major running going on. Pulled out, check her out. Yeah, it's looking decent. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit more of this candy, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, we're back. I mixed up some emerald green now. We'll hit the shoulders. And we might hit the spine with it, too. You don't have to hit the spine, but I, I just may. Well, this is what I mix in the candy to help it stick to the bait without running. Uh, it's the inner coat clear. It's a 4030 by Createx. It's important if you're going to use candy. Very important. So next color is the emerald green shoulder area. We'll let that compressor run for a second. 15 seconds it'll refill. All right, let's continue. shaky I can see the green on this screen here yeah we're gonna darken those, those shoulders up just a little bit more doesn't matter it could be light or dark and at the end we'll throw a stencil over this bad boy and we'll give it a pattern Yeah, it looks like you can see it pretty good. Don't have to do this, but I'm going to. Well, running, running the airbrush without the uh, exhaust on. Alexa, turn on exhaust. All right, those shoulders look good. I'll clean the brush and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, on to the next step. Next color is a candy black. 
and we're just going to go try to keep it around that first line on the cheek and from that point towards the nose darken it up a little bit well I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do it with the camera right here so we'll see what I can do a little bit at a time A little bit at a time. can't see but I, th I believe I made a run mm, I can't tell I cannot tell all right go a little bit more on this side leave it at that so candy black might have went a little too dark with it but we'll be going over that a little bit anyway all right next step is coating the bait with a bleed check if you don't use a bleed check you can dip your bait in KBS or clear coat it and wait till it dries and then you can add an opaque over top of it but if you don't add a bleed check or or dip it or whatever but we're going to focus on this bleed check if you don't add this bleed check say if I went over this and made some white specks over a period of time those white specks are going to change color they won't be white they'll soak up some of that green and that yellow but if you use the bleed check, you don't have to worry about that. So bleed check with candy and uh, your uh, details should be pretty cool. There won't be no muddying of the colors and you'll, you'll, your, uh, your clear will stay clear. Okay, our next step, what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit the belly with some white and we'll fully opaque it right here and then we'll fade back, but try to keep it uh, transparent. And then after we do that white, we'll hit it with some, uh, some pearl white. all I'm doing right there maybe a little bit that's it on to the next step clean this brush out and I shall return okay prior to adding that white I, uh, I covered this whole bait in a uh, bleed checker I'm sure I mentioned that. I went downstairs and had dinner, took a little break. I'm just now getting back up here. So yeah, bleed checker, and then I added the opaque white. Now I'm getting ready to add the pearl white. Quick heat set. Oh, 
really quick heat set. Quick heat set. can pick that up let me try this other light off it gives it that pearl shine to it and yeah, just a tad more Did I say tad or ton? All right, now that's that. We're gonna hit the top with uh, some pearl black. Get that pearl black done and we'll throw a stencil on her. But in the meantime, I have to take another break to clean this brush out. Okay, I got some black loaded up in the chamber. We'll hit the back and the snout. Honestly, I should have hit it with some black before that, but oh well. Quick heat set. Quick heat set. Let me pull it out, check it out. All right, a little more. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. You guessed it. No, I'm not gonna do it. To I'm not gonna do it to you. All right, I'll get that cleaned out. Throw some black in the chamber and we'll do the stencil. Okay, we're back. We threw the old homemade stencil on the bait. It's my crappy crappie pattern. Did a, did a little crappy job. Yeah, yeah, it was pun intended in there, fellas. Uh, we're gonna hit that with some black. I turned the pressure down in the brush through the Mac valve. I don't want to have any, I don't want to press no, I can't explain it, but I don't want to hit some paint where it needs to go and the pressure be up so high, spider webs underneath of the stencil. Every stencil I use, I spray light coats. Uh, light coats is what I do. Uh, those homemade stencils. This one obviously isn't cut out yet, but it's the Lucky Craft. So we'll get the spray in here, light coats. Take a little second here to uh, thank everybody who subscribed. If you're new here, subscribe. 
Uh, but I appreciate appreciate each and every one of you subscribing, man. It's it's pretty cool to pretty cool to have some interest. Yes, yeah, some of my subscribers are family and friends. That's also cool. But I need some new subscribers who I don't know. And if you can, you know any buddies who like fishing lures, collect fishing lures, or just like airbrushing, share the video with them. I appreciate it. We'll pull this away and make sure, because I camera's right in my way. I think that's got her. We'll let that compressor kick off and hit it with a little more. Sorry about that. All right, just gonna air dryer, we'll pull her off. Check her out. see that at all. I don't want to mess up my stencil. These are rather fragile. Yeah, sometimes they get stuck on my masking tape and that's what happened just now. Come on. This I got a little bit. I'm an idiot. I'm thinking I'm stuck on my masking tape. Goddamn alligator clip holding it. Don't mind me, man. I'm known for brain farts. She looks a little cheesy right now, but once you get some eyes and clear coat on her, she'll be sweet. But there's my crappy crappie. I'll show you what she looks like after a clear coat. And once again, thank you to all my subscribers, man. I appreciate it. Thank you.